with football, the thing is, is that, of course, these players are striking the football, which is quite an unnatural thing to do. If you think about how we evolved, we evolved to run, for sure. Um, but to, to kick things, yeah. you know, as much as a professional footballer does. Mm. So there's a huge speeds and huge amounts of eccentric control uh, as well. Because one of the things that I think, um, again, I haven't really seen it written anywhere, but it, it struck me when I was doing my research, is that the quadriceps are the, the, the muscles that will extend the knee to strike the ball. Okay. Um, and of course, it's much more complex than that as well, but, but they're, they're one of the prime movers of, of kicking. Mm. Um, but you can only kick something as hard as you can decelerate. In other words, if you, so you can only accelerate the shank of the leg as quickly as you can decelerate it. Because if you accelerate quicker than you decelerate, you end up traumatizing the knee. You get, yeah. essentially, your yeah. cruciates jammed down against each other as you hyperextend the knee, and it really hurts. And I've, I think most people that have played football um, have experienced that because you, you occasionally strike a, what they call an air shot, which is where you miss the ball completely because maybe it takes a bobble or you just mistime your kick and you, you jar down on the cruciate ligaments and it's, it's uh, painful to the knee and painful to the pride. But, um, but that's an example of you've accelerated the knee faster than you can decelerate it because your brain was calculating for the inertia of the football. Yeah. When you miss the football, yeah. There's no inertia there to slow down the leg, and therefore you end up swinging right through and jamming down to the passive components of the joints. Yeah.